I S U P K. Y'all might not know who Esau is, but I do. Esau is your oppressor. Esau is the troglodyte. Esau is the cockazoid. That's the oppressor. What's the Lord say about Esau? But Esau uh -huh. have I hated. No, he loved everybody. Hated. Esau has the Lord hated. The Lord don't love everybody. That's right. And neither shall blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. You should love everybody but yourself. Right. That's how we going that's how we gonna come up out of this. Through brotherhood and love. We don't have love for, for one another right now, but we sure have love for the oppressor. I mean, we love the oppressor so much. We want to sleep in their beds. We want to have little oppressor babies. You know what I'm saying? We love everybody but ourselves. We are not gonna get out of this hell until we learn to love ourselves. Right. You know what, hey, a glorious example of us loving ourselves was Montgomery, Alabama. That's right. The ball of Montgomery, Alabama. Hey, that let me see that there's some love in Israel. Right. That's some love. Hey, look, I even saw Mexican brothers online talking about, hey, I will ride with the brothers of Montgomery. I will ride with the blacks of Montgomery. You know what I'm saying? That's beautiful to us on this side. Because that's prophecy. That's why we coming back together. You know what I'm saying? Montgomery was a beautiful thing. Matter of fact, we got some souvenirs here from Montgomery right now. You can see it sitting on them right now. We got these chairs right here. You know what I'm saying? Very, uh, so lucky. Go ahead, read that again, Brother Chef. Colonel Khan, this is the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Go ahead, drop that Proverbs 11:21. Proverbs 11:21, Bubba Shot. Again, no matter what you think, when that time comes, you are not going to be able to save the oppressor. The oppressor has to pay for the blood of our forefathers that they spilt on these streets. Hey, y'all might not know, but we were getting hung down here in Five Point. This is where they used to hang us. They used to hang us here, but we so quick to forget about that. We don't want to hear that. We want to forgive everybody. We got to stop forgiving everybody and remember what happened. The Lord tells you never forget. Don't forget. You know what I'm saying? We can't forget. Because when you forget, you continue, you, you constantly go back in the same thing. You, you have to go through it again. You go through it again. You know what I'm saying? So you can't forget. That's why the oppressor don't forget 9-11. Because now they got their guard up. They don't forget 9-11. They don't forget nothing. That's why, that's why they, right now, the Jewish people are still prosecuting German soldiers that are almost 100 years old. Right. They still prosecuting them. They ain't forgot about that, right? But we got to forget about slavery, right? No, hey, let's bring it a little closer. Let's bring it a little closer to the times now. We got to forget about Sandra Bland, right? We got to forget about Trayvon Martin, right? Right. We got to forget about Philando Castile, right? Right. We got to forget about all this, right? Why we got to forget about that? We shouldn't have to forget, forget about that. I mean, look look what uh, the cat down there in uh, the Santos is doing down in Florida. He wants us to forget about who we are. Taking slavery out of the book, out of the history books already. They're talking about, oh, no, it, we, we got tools from that. We got learning experiences from that. I don't know a brother right now that picked cotton. I don't 
don't know a brother right now that picked cotton. I don't know anybody that picked tobacco right now except our brothers down in South America. You know what I'm saying? We didn't get any skills from that. The skills they're talking about is what Trump pumps, make America great again, and servitude. That's the skills we got, to right. serve them. Because we still haven't stopped serving them. We still haven't stopped putting them above us. You know what I'm saying? That's what we got. But you cannot save this oppressor from all the blood they spilled of our people. You can't save them from, from what's coming from them to them from the Lord. Read what's coming to them. What, what they can't save them, what we can't save them from. Go ahead. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 11 and verse 21. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. Hey, well, hey, remember that song from the 90s? We are the world. <laughs> we are the children. You know, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. The Lord is going to punish the wicked. He's going to punish these heathens. And we're seeing it happen right now. Look at the economy of America. America is falling. America is going to be destroyed by nuclear fire. And that's what we're waiting on. America is falling apart. And there's nothing blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians can do to save this oppressor. You can't do nothing to save the oppressor. All your prayers are not going to be heard to save the oppressor. We need to be praying for one another to get out from this oppressor. Read that again. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 11 and verse 21. Go hand, join in hand. The wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. The seed of the righteous shall be delivered. The Israelites are the seed. We are the only ones that can be delivered. We are the only ones that can be saved. We are the only ones Christ is coming to save. But we got to get right. We got to get right. Again, come up here and get you a flyer. Learn the truth about who you are, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Learn to separate from this oppressor. And when I say separate from the oppressor, I'm talking about stop celebrating a funky holiday. Right, right. Christmas ain't got nothing to do with you other than getting your money, taking your game. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us will go ahead and, and get a, a, a title loan on our vehicle just to get our kids some funky Christmas presents for Christmas. We gonna take out an extra mortgage on whatever we got, scrape, rob, and steal, just so we can get our kids some Christmas presents. Christmas don't have nothing to do with the Bible. It don't have nothing to do with us. Thanksgiving, stop celebrating Thanksgiving. Celebrating get Thanksgiving ain't got nothing for us. And we got all this tradition, tradition, tradition. Damn a tradition. That's a tradition of the heathen. Right. 